One year ago today, Buffalo lost 10 mothers, fathers, friends, and neighbors at the hands of a racist gunman at Tops on Jefferson Avenue. Buffalo will never forget Catherine Massey, Hayward Patterson, Celestine Cheney, Andre McNeil, Marcus Morrison, Pearl Young, Geraldine Talley, Roberta Drury, Ruth Whitfield, and Lieutenant Aaron Salter Jr. Thank you for joining us as we continue to reflect and remember. I'm Claudine Ewing. Tonight, the community came together to support one another. As two in your size, Andy Payton reports, love was the message at Elam Christian Fellowship. Hatred will not win, violence will not win, and we must be too busy to hate. A year later, we still remember. A governor still remembers. A mayor still remembers, and a community still remembers. You didn't defeat us on that day, you evil white supremacists. You made us even stronger. As the city, joined by Reverend Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant from Atlanta, came together tonight to honor the 10 that were lost, but will never be forgotten. This community will not be defined by death and tragedy. No, this community will overcome death and tragedy through triumph. And that's why we praise them. As all walks of faith and life came together, some who knew them and others who just didn't want them to be forgotten. This was the shot that rung around the world. And I knew personally one of the persons whose life was sensely taken. She beat brain cancer only to fall at the hands of a bullet. Bullets that changed the city forever whose power leaders are trying to reclaim. But are they done? No, not as long as assault weapons intended for the battlefield are still a lot to be sold in this country, they're not done. We need another national ban on assault weapons and do it now before anyone else loses their lives in this country. People tend to want to always protect the Second Amendment, but I think our lives is worth more than the Second Amendment. Tonight, a community, an 18-year-old shooter attempted to tear apart, proving through prayer he did anything but. Love conquers hate. And Buffalo, Buffalo is a powerful reminder of that. In Buffalo, I'm Andy Payton.